Um, all right, so I want I'm gonna teach you guys. This is what I would want you to do daily on your own is plan your practices so that um, you have an objective and you accomplish something versus just hitting putts, right? That's kind of why we do the varsity group is to teach uh, kids that want to play at the next level how to train like they train so you're not, one, you'll develop faster and probably go to a higher, you know, school uh, athletically and hopefully academically. But also, when you get there, you're not starstruck and like doing all this stuff you're not used to doing. Do you think your main weakness is in your game, according to those tests? And you know, when you're practice, you you're, you're the best judge of how your game is. Don't just say putting. Say like you know, short putt starting line or commitment level five feet and then like you know you are nervous, uh, speed control, uh, short game. It would be, um, let's say, you know, your chip shots, just basic, easy chip shots from right off the green or lob shot, bunker shot, landing spot. Uh, you're not sure what club to use. And now we're here to coaches are here to be able to help you through like the strategy. Um, full swing would be, it could be wedges, a hundred and in and mid irons, long irons, short irons, curving it a certain way um or not having a consistent curve so go ahead and on your coach now write down main objective to accomplish and write um something down or what are you going to do to accomplish that objective or improve in that area you wrote down so short putting yeah. okay so on short putting would you say um do you have trouble committing to it and like keeping your head down, hitting a solid putt? So that might play into some mental game, right? So maybe we can go through pre-shot routine, different routines to where you can get comfortable and kind of what to focus on. You've got to figure out like when you're on the course, a couple of swing things like because you've taken lessons like what can what can you check to fix that so you don't keep in it straight right every time what are you gonna do to improve your driving so one do you like i asked janelle do you commit to it and it just so the, so then there's a technical issue yeah. probably right do you, you have a two-way miss yeah. okay so since we're not going to get into technique let's try to establish a one-way miss. And so what's your comfortable ball flight? A cut. a cut. So let's develop a way where we can hit like a go-to cut. Like it may be slightly different than your, you know, rip it cut, but, um, okay. So we're going to establish a one-way miss and then probably do a test ourselves out of 10, see how many drivers, uh, we can get in a simula simulated like 30 yard wide fairway out of 10. So lag putting, I would say is like that 40 to 70 plus range, right? Feet. So what drills can you do to improve that? Getting two balls and finding a, putt, a hole on the two far ends and two putting each way consecutively. Then you could do <clears throat> put like four balls in the middle of the green and put them each direction like one that way one that way that way that way trying to stop it as close as you can to the fringe um so i would put those to work on some starting line like a chalk line or which is like that with chalk on the green or you can use a sharpie and a alignment rod or uh the ruler drill or the eye line with a gate for the ball we can do that now think of your strength. Uh, pick out one strength. So, of your game right now. So you want to maintain that. So maybe you do like <clears throat> you play nine holes with yourself or someone else. Well, everybody else said putting was an issue, so never mind. Um, but keep score play nine holes, fifteen to twenty five foot range, um, and we go through a routine every time, read the putt every time, nine different holes, and do that to maintain that strength. 
okay? So you could do the drill he was doing, right? Number out of 10 in a simulated fairway, and then maybe you practice like a go-to shot for off the tee. Short game, okay, what aspect of short game? Like just basic chips, basic pitches. Okay, so that that's all good. So um, you could do an up and down game, like nine holes up and down and keep your score. So like for you, two putts is par, and for you, two is par. And then you, if you track that, then you can, you know, do it over, keep doing it and see if you're getting better based on that score.